What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I go by the name of Premier, and today I'm going to be talking about my experience with EC Council's Certified Ethical Hacker Version 11 exam. So just for starters, this is not any sort of clickbait. Um, I did actually pass the exam in a little over two weeks. The first week was comprised of a 40 hour boot camp, So eight hours a day for five days straight, five business days straight. The second week was somewhat of a refresher from any, you know, any uh, methodologies or like concepts that I wasn't too clear on during boot camp. I sort of just went over again um, and kind of gave my mind, you know, a break, if you will. Uh, for an additional two days which was that weekend um, and then going into you know the third week if you will that Monday was when I took my exam I did pass on the first attempt um, and to be honest I'm glad I passed on the first attempt because I was super nervous leading up to the exam um, it was something it was a certification that I've wanted for a very long time uh, I think it was like more so of a personal thing I don't think it was, you know of course it wasn't mandated by my um my my job my current employer or anything it was just something that i've always wanted right like certified ethical hacker like that sounds lit you know what i'm saying so it was something that um i kind of just been you know telling myself hey i'm gonna go get i'm gonna go get and finally i was awarded the opportunity to actually have both the training and the exam actually paid for by my employer um and so of course i you know i got right on that opportunity and um and here we are, right? I'm certified as a hacker. Now, once again, um, like I said, I'm definitely not going to go into depth about like the specific questions I was asked or anything. I kind of just wanted to give like a review of the exam. Um, overall, it is not a bad exam. Um, I know if you you know search YouTube, you search forums, you search Twitter. If you're active in the cybersecurity slash penetration testing world, you'll hear a lot of individuals kind of down the exam. Um, just because it's not practical, right? Like it's not hands-on, it is a full multiple choice exam. Um, and of course, any pen tester these days will tell you, I mean, you, you can't really judge someone's skill based on multiple choice. Um, and I completely agree. It's not a bad exam though, because if you are interested in taking this path of you know penetration testing or red teaming or you know cybersecurity in general, you do need to gain somewhat of a familiarity um, in a, a base, if you will, right? Like of certain tools, certain methodologies, certain concepts. And this exam, the study material that comes with this exam definitely kind of goes over all of that. Um, not in depth, right? Like you definitely would need somewhat of a combination of like, um, you know, try hack me or like hack the box. Like you need some hands-on experience with, with these tools. You can't just, you know, read and understand exactly what they do. Maybe the con, you know, maybe the, the base of, of what they do, but you won't really know the, you know, in-depth flags, commands, etc. Um, but, but you'll know, right? Like you'll, you know, you'll, you'll have some type of familiarity. You have a base. Um, so this exam, you know, after taking it, after passing it and then kind of doing my research after, you know, towards what I'm going to go uh, for next, which will most likely be like, the EJPT or like the pen test plus or something like that. Um, probably the EJPT, by the way. Um, it is definitely, it gave me my base, right? It gave me and, and, and kind of solidified the fact that I know I want to be, um, you know, some someday a great penetration tester slash ethical hacker. Um, I can definitely assure you that you don't have to be any sort of like active penetration tester or like red teamer now in order to pass the exam. Um, definitely if you can remember like certain, you know, once again, like concepts and method methodologies, you'll be in pretty great shape. Um, it is a scenario based multiple choice exam, right? So like all the questions, there are no like, what is Metasploit or like, what is Nmap, right? It's, it's all scenario based. Um, so they'll give you, you know, somewhat of a situation that's going on and say, hey, based on this certain phase or this certain step, right? If it's a reconnaissance phase, for example, what sort of tool would you be using, you know, based on whatever it is that you're looking for? And so like with that being said, um, you definitely need to know the cyber kill chain um, for anyone that is in the cybersecurity world um, or, you know, penetration penetration testing world, if you will. You know what this is. Um, you know these phases, right? Um, starting from reconnaissance all the way down to reporting. You need to know each and every one of those phases and the tools that are being utilized within each of those phases. You don't know have you don't have to know it, um, you know, like the back of your hand necessarily. Like I thought I did, right? So I went and bought a, I purchased a book based on Nmap and purchased a book based on Metasploit, thinking like, hey, I'm gonna have to know these, you know, like the back of my hand, because I, I had no no prior knowledge about the exam. Um, 
but it wasn't as in depth as I thought it was going to be. Um, exams like the OSCP, um, exams like, of course, like the CISSP, um, the EJPT, even, right? I won't say CISSP because that's multiple choice as well, although a very respected exam and certification. Um, the EJPT is once again practical. The OSCP is once again practical. SANS exams are practical, like, so you have to know how to react right you have to know sort of some of the the feelings and, and nerves that you're going to have during throughout those process processes um as well as like the tools and such that you use um and you know you kind of you, you have no help of course you have like an, a manual it's open book and such but you have to know what you're doing um hands-on of course so that's something that you, you you're not going to get that sort of experience on a certified ethical hacker exam although the cert sounds like super badass and so cool it's not going to be something that like you can go and show off to a bunch of actual red teamers and penetration testers because you have no practical experience that's that's if you don't have it right um but once again i mean if you if you're studying for that exam and you know have the combination of like try hack me and, and hack the box under your belt and have you know uh, done a few capture the flags if you will you should be in pretty good shape to at least know you know somewhat of of, of the the surface of what penetration testing is now, one thing I really, really wanted to discuss, um, I kind of mentioned it in the beginning of this video, has to do with like the importance of the exam. Because after hearing all of this, some of you might ask like, well, why did you take the exam? Aside from like, you know, my employer actually, you know, supporting the the, um, the financial portion of it, you know, what's the use in it? Um, if you're in the cybersecurity world at this point or are trying to get in the cybersecurity world at this point, please look at the preferred like requirements um, for jobs, like specific jobs that you're interested in. I know certified ethical hacker is listed on about 90% of the jobs that I've ever like reviewed. Um, if it wasn't that specific certification as well as like a security plus or like, um, you know, an OSC OSCP, of course, it was 10,000 years of experience. And I mean, I'm just getting out of college, bro. I don't have 10,000 years of experience. So, um, you know, to kind of comp compensate for it or overcompensate for it, if you will, I think, you know, taking the certification approach now um, sort of helps me with that. But once again, I needed to get that base. The Security Plus, I, I, I have that certification as well. It didn't give me the base. It just gave me like, hey, this is cybersecurity, right? Like you, you understand like the fundamentals. The Certified Ethical Hacker is gonna give you the base of like penetration testing and like how things are supposed to look and go, um, how things work, right? Like typically what you wanna be looking for, what you don't wanna be looking for, but not actually the hands-on, hey, scenario a even though you're using the same tool scenario a could be different from scenario b you know which is different from scenario c etc etc you'll only get that sort of experience once again on a practical exam um and I, i've done so much you know research on like youtube and, and all these blogs and stuff and it was sort of discouraging after i received the exam right i was able to finally take a breather i, I got the cert and um just to find out like, geez, all these penetration testers and all these guys that, you know, we look up to the John Hammonds and, you know, all the other individuals that I watch on the daily were kind of like, that exam is not the real deal. You know what I mean? And it was kind of like, damn, like that's heartbreaking. Um, but at the same time, you know, you have to understand where they're coming from as actual red teamers, penetration testers, ethical hackers, etc. cetera. Um, they have a point, right? You cannot wear or even, you know, call yourself right per se a certified ethical hacker if you have no real world experience so you won't get that getting out of this exam um however there is a certified ethical hacker master version so you have the certified ethical hacker which is you know a multiple choice exam um it's a 120 questions 125 questions sorry and then you have the practical or the master exam now these are two separate exams um the first exam once again is multiple choice the second is i think Think about 10 questions if you will 10 practical questions and if you pass you're now labeled a certified ethical hack uh, hacker master um which is sort of like having i don't want to say the the oscp or like the ejpt per se because i haven't taken either of those exams or any of those exams um, but it definitely is respected from a practical level right at least within the ec council community um Nonetheless, um, it is an additional fee, right? And it wasn't something that, like, you know, my, my company was willing to support in, in addition. So I haven't taken that exam yet. I just figured, hey, I'll go the EJBT route, you know, followed by the OSCP, CISSP, and whatever else is out there. I actually have, like, a whole list. Pentest Plus, um, the, you know, a few GPEN exams, the CISA Plus maybe, um, and the PMPT, right? I'll just, you know, as my career sort of advances, I'll, I'll know 
hey, maybe I should just, you know, go and get the OSCP rather than the EJPT or whatever the case may be. But me personally, I like to build my fundamentals. I like to know the, the, the foundation of things, right? Because it just overall gives you a better understanding about like not only what you want to do, but like, you know, how to, to react in the real world um, in certain situations. So that's something I'm currently doing. Um, and this video is not in any way, shape, or form downing this exam. I think this was a wonderful exam. I think this is great for, for penetration testers that are, you know, start just starting out or any, any individuals that are interested in that type of uh, cybersecurity path. Um, definitely take this exam. It's definitely going to be like not a requirement per se, but definitely a preferred sort of, um, you know, add on when you're applying to jobs. Um, so don't hesitate it, uh, hesitate to take it rather um, if it's being paid for hey why not like that's even should be even more of an incentive um and that's pretty much it once again like i didn't want to get into you know too much depth once about like what i actually saw in the exam um i just wanted to give like an overview i know some of you are taking it um tips i i, I can say if you are preparing for it is don't over prepare i'll show you guys real quickly like i was reviewing this entire nmap network scanning manual as well as the Metasploit manual, as well as one of three, this is just one of three of the EC Council lab training books, comprised of about, what, 2,000 total pages, right, if you add all three of them up. So here we are now, like, this is the third book, right? This is just what I received from EC Council. So if we're talking about, like, training, there's no way I was getting through this in two weeks, um, and it kind of was discouraging once I did receive the, the you know, box of uh, study material. Um, but I'll tell you, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, and so, yeah, you should be all right. You should be all right with any sort of um, uh, Udemy, Udemy, however you pronounce that, U-D-E-M-Y. I'll put the link in the description for, like, some of the resources I used, um, a bunch of free labs, um, you know, tools you want to gain, you know, some familiarity with Nmap, um, Metasploit, Burp Suite. You know, you want to know the password cracking tools. You want to know the different, like, algorithms and um uh, what do you call it with like uh, encryption sorry um, you know you kind of want to know like the, the, the base the overall base of like okay if you were an ethical hacker what are the avenues that you could you know take and what tools would you use throughout those avenues is sort of you know the thing um, the cyber kill chain once again I'm, I have to like emphasize this that methodology the cyber kill chain the cyber kill chain the cyber kill chain is something that you definitely want to know like the back of your hand like exactly like the back of your hand um, in order all seven steps and break each down reconnaissance right like weaponization delivery exploitation etc you want to break every single one of those down and understand the tools like understand where to use the tools and um and how to kind of you know like escalate right and of course how to clean up clean your tracks and create a report um and that's pretty much it right like once you have that base you can move on to the more difficult you know slash practical exams and hopefully be successful in your cybersecurity career or you know any path that you want to take in the it world and so with all that being said i definitely don't want to take too much more of you guys' time um i definitely appreciate all of you that stopped by if you have any additional questions concerns just want to chill hang whatever the case may be please feel free to drop a comment below. Um, also, like and subscribe if you can. And don't hesitate to join my Discord server. The link is below. Peace.